Huge exciting news to start your Sunday morning as Joe Biden will announce not one, but two dozen executive orders on Wednesday and Thursday that could impact you. I have the breaking details forming just this morning on Mornings at Light. Meantime, big exciting news across the board. On your second stimulus check, your third stimulus check, fourth stimulus, which is the SSI and SSDI, fifth, which is the student loan debt forgiveness. And what is six and seven? They are the railroads, excuse me, the highways and the teachers. So much developing across the board, plus the remainder of $10,000 grant and the $3,200 stimulus check if you're adult dependent. I have all these incredible details. Meantime, two major grant programs are expected to go live tomorrow. What's happening? How can you get this money? Get ready, Purple Hawks. Get ready to pounce. It's a great Sunday morning of Mornings Alalite. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mornings LLA, and what a morning it is. With not one, but two dozen executive orders from Joe Biden coming within hours. I'll have all the details for you, plus the massive stimulus check for adult dependents, $3,200, and the two major new free money grant programs about to go live, plus the $10,000 of money you're owed that could be coming to as well. If you've not subscribed, go to the Funnest Channel, subscribe. Hit that alert button and also consider liking this video. Meantime, if you've not joined, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP by clicking on the link at the top of this chat or at the bottom of this video in the pinned comment or in the description. Meantime, I have so much exciting news for you. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. <laughs> But you didn't leave me any bacon. Oh, but at least you got some bacon emojis for me, don't you? <laughs> so, boy, in this video, I'm going to go over what's happening with these executive orders next week. Very, very exciting, great news. Then I'll be turning to the second stimulus check, the third stimulus package, the first stimulus check with massive money coming around the clock. I have so many details, so this is going to be a very big recording. Stay with me to the end of the recording because you have shocking details across the board. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news, as you said this morning, is that Joe Biden on Wednesday and Thursday next week will announce upwards of two dozen executive orders, L.A. can report. These executive orders will be signed the moment he steps in the Oval Office. They have been written for weeks. He knows exactly what they're going to say, and they're going to roll them right out right away. These are very, very important executive orders. Some of them impact you. Some of them don't impact you financially. What are they? First, they will be a mortgage forbearance or, or eviction moratorium or and or student loan debt uh, moratorium, not forgiveness yet. I have been telling you on day one, he was going to be doing this. I've been telling you for three months he was going to do it. And a new report overnight says that on day one, he will sign executive order to stop the need to repay any student debts immediately, what is called student loan debt moratorium. This is not forgiveness. That will come separately. Moreover, he's going to invoke the Defense Production Act to order vaccine distributions to be rolled out in bigger quantities by the federal government, by the National Guard, with vaccine distribution centers across the country and in your local pharmacy and big box retailers, giving big box retailers a big push for money. Pharmacy is a big push for money, and you, the ability to get this vaccine, which has been really difficult to get to. Moreover, there's expected to be other economic elements in these executive orders, I'll have those additionally later today on Home LA at 12 noon. Very exciting news as we sort through these executive orders. Now, what's happening in the next 48 hours? Reports are claiming that in the next 48 hours, no less than perhaps the next 24 hours, two major grant programs in the United States will go live under the second stimulus package. 
You've been hearing them. You've been waiting for them. And I'm hearing they're going to go live. They are the EIDL grant free money for businesses in the low income communities, whether Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, Airbnb, anything that has a Schedule C. And the one for agriculture and ranchers and farmers, up to $10,000 per applicant. This is incredible great news. This is the second stimulus package. This is the two grants that were passed under the second stimulus package, the mar lago that had not yet gone live. I'm in hearing they could go live in the next 24 to 48 hours. I'm watching SBA.GOVs, which is where the application will be. And as soon as I hear that they have gone live, I will go live with the details for you. Remember, if you are an Uber, Lyft, or Grubhub operator, or you an uh, electrician, or plumber, or you a hairstylist, or anything that you do a Schedule C on your tax return as a side business, you can apply under a low, uh, low income business, a low income community business, if that's where you're located. Guidance for this is not yet revealed, but we do have guidance for the agricultural farmers. If you are agricultural farmers, excluding cannabis, get that application on file ASAP. They have the loan open as well, currently. Remember, you do not have to be approved for the loan to get the grant. You can be denied for the loan to get the grant. You cannot apply for a second grant if you got a grant before. You do not have, a, have to have a credit score. It's not collateralized and there's no personal guarantee. So it's absolutely delicious. Delicious emoji ice cream for that one. All right, now let's continue with the second stimulus package. Yesterday I delivered for members of this channel a wonderful um, uh, line item, which I have been telling viewers to create themselves. If you're at home, you can pull out a pen and paper and do it right now. One viewer said they have a whole notebook. Absolutely, because you're going to have to do a notebook. The second stimulus package, let's go over where things are and what's happening. First, the $600 stimulus check. Half of the viewers of this channel have still not seen it. So you're going to see Janet Yellen confront this problem when she comes in next week. That's the first thing. The $600 stimulus check does not pay adult dependents. Next, FPUC $300 a week. Viewers of this channel are getting, F are getting the $300 a week from now going forward to March 14th. If you haven't gotten it yet, if you're inactive, you have to watch to switch your account from inactive to active and then certified for benefits. UI, which is unemployment for W-2s. PUA, which is unemployment for people who are sole practitioners, are extended to March 2021. SNAP increase is really great news. If you are uh, anyone that makes about $49,000 or less per year, there's a 15% SNAP increase from January to June under the second stimulus package. Now, states are doing it three different ways. One, they are increasing your benefits on the January check. Two, they're starting to do the increase on the February check and going out to July. Or three, they're just sending you an extra supplemental payment in the month of January to get you caught up. This is six months. SNAP is food, up to $1,400 a month if your family are in Hawaii. Need it? Want it? Reach out to the Department of Agriculture or call 211. All really great news. Rent aid, utilities aid, free internet, and child care. All those four items have been a mystery and been missing in action. But I've been hearing that the rent aid may be landing states as early as next week. Why? Because a lot of state governors are saying, where is it? Come on already. It's been four weeks. Give us the money. Now, if you need rent aid or you need assistance with utilities, reach out to the volunteers on the community page. That's a community page of this channel. It's in the pinned link to this video. It's also in the description. It's news.la.com forward slash community. It has a series of, of cute little animals at the top of the page. Below that, you see the volunteers separated from Twitter and Instagram. You reach out to them. They can help you with co companies like United Way, Salvation Army, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul, Community Action, help find you nonprofits that will pay may assist you in paying the, your utilities or rent or also local municipalities like Atlanta or Harrisburg PA or Nashville that actually have rent grants a lot of cities and counties have rent grants that didn't have it before when reaching out to the volunteers indicate what city and county you live in next eviction moratorium the second stimulus package does have an eviction moratorium the same one from before you need to print out the CDC order. That's the Center for Disease Control and give it to your landlord and say, here, you have to do that. It's protecting you to December, excuse me, end of this month. But as I've been reporting, I think Joe Biden's going to do an executive order on Wednesday that extends this further. There is no mortgage forbearance in place currently. It has expired. So you are exposed. But I am also reporting for a while 
and again, we're pointing today that those executive orders on Wednesday will issue a mortgage forbearance for federally backed mortgages so you cannot be foreclosed upon. So stay with me for Home Ally today as I deliver more about these important executive orders. Next, the e, we're still on the second sentence of this package. The EIDL for low income, the EIDL for agriculture. How do you apply? What do you need to apply? If you're a sole practitioner, you just need to have a Schedule C on your tax return. Declare the income on, on an annualized basis. You had it on your 2019 tax return, 2020. Pull it out. Your business has to be, or the, the applicant has to be in the area in which SBA says you have to be. How that applies, how it works, we don't know. I was, When I see it, I'll go live. The agriculture is more simple. The agricultural application basically says, are you agricultural? And if you are, you click yes and you proceed. This is up to a $10,000 grant, plus you can get a loan. You don't have to take the loan if you don't want to, or you can take the loan. If you get denied for the loan, you can still take the grant. The grant is free money. Finally, PPP is live, and it may not be live forever. This is the second stimulus package. This is a new round of PPP. If you want PPP, you reach out to the lenders. You There's no online application you fill out and you just submit for everyone. You have to reach out to each lender individually, like Cabbage, like Cross Creek, like Fundera. Say, hey, I want to apply. They'll have an online application for you and you just fill out the paperwork. If there's something missing, they'll get back to you. They have individuals assigned to make sure that your application is complete and then they'll submit to SBA. You Same application qualifications as before. Again, PPP starts as a loan, turns to a grant. It is not collateralized. No credit score required. No personal guarantee required. Very, very simple. All right, now let's turn to the real incredible, delicious news of the third stimulus package. But before I do, I want to go over something that needs to be made clear on a regular basis. I did yesterday, but I'm going to do it every day. This first stimulus package was the CARES Act in March of last year. The second stimulus package was the December Trump Mar-a-Lago stimulus package. The third stimulus package will be the Biden stimulus package called the America Recover Re Rescue Act, signed around, it'll probably be introduced around January 20th, and it'll probably become a law within about 10 days. That is the third stimulus package. I'm going to get to that in a second. The fourth stimulus package will be a standalone bill to fix the Social Security system in this country. That covers the SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits and Veterans Benefits provision that he has in his transition paper that says, I'm going to give $200 a month for those individuals impacted by the pandemic, plus a 20% increase lifetime up to 20%, and a new benchmark different than COLA. That's a standalone bill, which I'm calling the fourth stimulus package, not because it's fourth in line, but because it's just after the third one. The fifth stimulus package, again, not fifth in line, but just after the third, is the student loan debt forgiveness. This is different than what's going to happen on Wednesday. Wednesday will be a student loan debt moratorium, meaning you don't have to pay it. But after that, he's going to forgive $10,000 of it by law. That's going to follow thereafter. The sixth stimulus package is the grants for teachers and for schools, and the seventh is for the highways. All right, so, and the highways also include jobs. So now let's go to the third stimulus package. The third stimulus package is absolutely incredible. There is first a stimulus check, and then there's also an important thing that I need to go over, which is the tone of the message. What I have is a pre-bill draft of the third stimulus package. Almost very few people have this. And what the document basically shows that on some items, he wants to be very specific, Joe Biden. He wants to say, this is the way I'm going to do it, my way or, you know, or else, not necessarily the highway, but, you know, this is the way I want to do it. Other provisions, he's like, you know what? Um, I have a recommendation for this, but I'm going to leave it. Uh, but, you know, uh, let's see how the, my recommendation goes. The third one, the third version is I don't really have an opinion about this. I'm going to leave Congress to decide the situation. So you're going to see as I go through the next 19 items in the third stimulus package, which gives you insanely great sums of money, are all defined slightly differently. All right, first, the stimulus check. $1,400 or $3,200. In the PDF document that I provided you yesterday, I inverted one of the numbers. It says $2,300 instead of $3,200. Obviously, it's $3,200. Let me explain to you why it's $1,400 or $3,200. Adult dependents will get $3,200 under the third stimulus package. Single individuals, children, $1,400. So why are 
but why are adult dependents getting more? Adult dependents are getting everything that has been sent out for stimulus checks for adults since the pandemic started. And they're behind because they were cut out, they were omitted, they were left out by action on prior stimulus checks. I had told you, I was right, that prior stimulus packages were errors, that congressional leaders thought they had made an error, and that they wanted to get those adult dependents up, uh, caught up on past unpaid stimulus checks. And so by giving them $2,300 and by giving everyone else $1,400, all adults are now equal at the same caught up amount. Um, $1,400 for individuals, uh, if non-adult non dependents, $1,400 for children, and for adult dependents, $3,200. Next, FPUC. Uh, Joe Biden on this one literally just uh, leaves it up to Congress. It says, I don't really have an opinion about this. You decide the weeks. You decide how you do it. Maybe I like $400 a week, but you decide this. And moreover, he says, you know what? If you want to change in the future, I'm going to insert a provision that requires that you not have to constantly do 7,000 page bills to change a few words and extend something. It should be easy breezy. I love it. Snap benefits, extending it for 15% for another six months. What I said on back on, on the FPUC is that basically retro is still on the table. It's neither dead nor alive. It's still on play. It has not been decided, so it's up to Congress. Congress will decide the future of the FPUC. All right, SNAP benefits, 15% 15 for an additional six months. Early in this video, I said SNAP for six months, January to June. Now he's extending for another six months. Really incredible great news. Rent aid. This was the big shocker. This was among four of the major shocking items you had never heard until I got on camera. First, the rent aid is extended again. As you heard, second stimulus, Mar-a-Lago stimulus has rent aid. Then third stimulus will do it again, extending it even further. But it's going to do three incredible add-ons. One, it's going to do rent aid for the middle class. So you don't have to be, so it'll include, the comp it'll include people that would normally not get rent aid because they were not low income that by, extending, by extending it to the middle class. That's the first one. Second, you'll have an additional allotment of money to help homeless people get into homes. Third, it will do something which is really incredible, which will say, we're going to give you, um, we're going to have to get, we're going to set it up so we give the money to the landlord. This is a federal agency. So this is different than the second stimulus package where the money goes to state and locals. This is a federal agency. Had I've been telling you all last year outside, we're going to, we're going to set up a federal agency. You apply and we'll pay the money to the landlord. If the landlord returns the money to us because they don't want it, this is the federal government talking, we're going to give it to you and then you give it to them. They perceive a problem and are preparing for it. Really very clear. Same thing for utilities. Then there'll be more free internet, more childcare, eviction moratorium, extended as well, if not done on Wednesday. Mortgage forbearance, if not done on Wednesday, will be a federal mortgage forbearance. So if your mortgage is federally backed, your, your mortgage is halted. Then let me go to the business grants and the business loans before I get to this $1,400 stimulus check per week. The $1,400 stimulus check per week, insane. Uh, let me get to the business grants and business loans. He does not use the word EIDL. He does not use the word PPP. He basically says, I'm going to have a new round of business grants for existing businesses that were impacted by the pandemic. Doesn't use the word EIDL. So what is it? Don't know. Don't know, but he clearly knows what it is. Very exciting. Then business loans. He says, if you want to start a new business, you were laid off. This pandemic has killed you. You just want to start anew and do something new. I'm going to give you money. Start, go start a new business. It's going to be a loan, and it's going to be very good, very good for you and good for the federal government. The program will pay for itself with principal and interest. This is incredible great news because on a daily basis, I get, I get about 30 messages saying, is there anything to start a new business? This is to start a new business. Then comes the real shockers. Deliciousness. Ice cream emoji. Paid sick leave. $1,400 per week up to. Wow. Where did this come from? And what is it? Let me explain to you. He basically says, under a series of scenarios, he will pay you up to $1,400 a week for every week that you're impacted. How do you calculate the amount of money? It's up to a $76,000 annual income 
and 76,000 annual income at a weekly basis is $1,400 a week. So if you made 76, the motion gives $1,400. If you made half of that, you'll get $700 a week. So what is this? It's for anyone who got, gets COVID, anyone who, whose family member gets COVID that they tend to in their household, anyone that doesn't have COVID but has to quarantine because of uh, exposure, or finally, anyone who has a child, not even with COVID, just a healthy child, that had to stay home because the schools were closed because of COVID. Incredible. $1,400 a week in stimulus. This is incredible great news. Then, student aid supplement came out of nowhere. Also incredible great news. $1,700 per student, college student. He will give financial aid of $1,700 per college student. Exactly $1,700. Not up to, not a portion. Exactly $1,700. Is it a loan? Is it a grant? Don't know yet, but it sounds like a grant. Child tax credit. <laughs> the best stuff of this video is at the end of the video, as you can tell. I told you to save the end of the video because it's getting more delicious by the minute. The tax credit. You can get a four to $8,000 tax refund approximately. How does this work? If you have a child who's 13 years or younger and you're paying for child care, he will allow you to deduct 50% of that child care uh, up to um, $4,000. And you can do this even if you're a household that made a quarter million dollars. If you made a lot more money, you can deduct but not deduct as much. So if you had um, $8,000 in child care last year, you can deduct the full amount, $4,000, 50% of it. Then he says, if you have two kids, I'll let you go up to $8,000. Last year, one of the viewers in the super chat, uh, in, the, in the live chat on purple said, oh my God, I got two kids and this is going to give me $8,000. Remember, it's a deduction. So if you don't pay taxes, if your taxes are normally zero or something like that, you'll get a tax refund check of $8,000. Congratulations. Finally, hazard pay. There's two types of hazard pay in the third stimulus package. There is public sector hazard pay and private sector hazard pay. His public sector hazard pay says, I will give a $300 billion to state and local so that they will administer hazard pay to its their public workers, whether they are public works officers, building safety, firemen, police, ambulatory. That's the public sector. The employer will, the public entity will pay you. Very, very easy, you don't have to do anything. Then private sector has a pay. This one is one of those advisory ones. He says, you know what? Retail, to quote him, retail, and grocery, to quote him, have made a lot of money off this pandemic but pay very little or nothing for hazard pay. Sound familiar? It does. This is what the unions have been saying. This is clearly a union move, which I think is really delicious. He says, you know what? I'm going to ask the CEOs of the company. He actually says, I'm going to ask the CEOs of the company to pay you has to pay and get this discussion going because they need to be informed that they have to pay you some has to pay. So what does that mean? My prediction is he's going to say, pay it, or I'm going to make it a law and require you to, to pay the hazard pay. They have done it across the country and counties, and they can do it on the federal level. It would require employers to pay you hazard pay in certain environments. This is incredible great news. We'll see the details of this later this week. But boy, now of 23 minutes of this video, you saw, 25 minutes, you saw why I told you there was a lot of deliciousness to come across the board. Stay with me on Home LA at 12 noon because I will have big updates across the board as we dive into these executive orders and how they impact you as more. If you've not subscribed, go to the Funch channel, subscribe, like this video. And I personally want to thank all the new members and the wonderful comments we got overnight. The helping and the caring of this channel continues on full storm. This channel got $25 million of EIDL loans for people. This channel helping them around the clock. I'll be reading some of your questions on air from printed form once again. And this channel has gotten over a quarter million dollars of people for rent, aid, and food. No one has helped people get more from things across the board than this channel. And will continue to do so. Stay informed, stay focused, and have a great morning. And can you leave me some bacon?